Hello friends, once again you all are welcome in my channel. Today I am going to you know describe a one very important topic and in this video you are not able to you know just learn this concept but also I am performing a live session after that where you can learn how to do the very important topic that is what we call web scrapping. So guys uh, what is web scrapping first of all you have to understand web scrapping is about downloading structured data from the web selecting some of that data and passing along what you selected to another process so web scrapping guys it means you are going to you know in any website if you want to you know download uh, some certain kinds of images or certain data like in a flip card and uh, whenever we are um, creating a e-commerce websites we need certain images or if you want to you know uh, Mm, I mean to say if you want to design your own e-commerce uh, website for a cards or anything so for that you need certain images that you can easily download through this web scrapping after that you can modify that data and uh, build your own or you structure that your data so web scrapping is not only you know it, it's a thrifting tool if you use this tool in an ethical way so you can design you can structure your own website very easily so web scrapping refers to the extension of the data extraction of the data from a website this information is collected and then exported into a format then is more useful for the users be it in spreadsheet or in an api you can take the data in the separate sheet spreadsheet or in application programmable interface so both are the ways where you can do, use the data so although web scrapping can be done manually in most cases automatic tools are preferred when scrapping web data as they can be less costly and work at a faster rate but still since uh, whenever we, we we you know downloading some kind of data we we are really restricted ourselves to a certain data not all so but in automated tools it is this this kind of feature is not available if you do it by automated tool you have to download every data which is not useful so but in most of the cases web scrapping is not a simple task website comes in many shapes and forms as a result web scrappers vary in the functionality and their features so how do web scrapers work first the web scrapper will be given one or more urls to load before scrapping so the scrapper then loads the entire html code for a page in question more advanced scrappers will render the entire website including css and the javascript elements basically they saw the source how it is written everything how the security is imposed then the scrapper will either extract all the data or the specific data that i told you earlier it is basically done it is the mostly some specific data is you know get downloaded like images or some uh, because it is not comes under plagiarism if on the images there is no you know no um, kind of barcode or some sort of security feature is uh, available you can like a logo and anything so you can use it so ideally the users will go through the process of the selecting the specific data they want from the page for example if they are uh, scrap the amazon product page for the price and models but are not necessarily interested in the product review definitely uh, there is no you know point to download the reviews if you are interested in only images because you are creating your own website and you need some images so you can scrap it so lastly the web scrapers will output all the data that has been collected into the format that is more useful for the user sometimes they put it into csv or excel spreadsheet while more advanced scrapers will support other format such as json which can be used for api they directly use with json for an api so now the question arises what kind of web scrapers are there there are self-built or pre-built this is kind of web scrapper because web scrapping is not only you know it is not only for cheating purposes or for uh, downloading some another kind of image it can be you this can this uh, information will be used to you know for your own self website to check the health of your website now another kind of web scrapers are browser extension versus software browser extension those who can those kind of uh, scrapers those who are work on the browsers 
and uh, some uh, are uh, doing the web scrapping using the softwares so on the basis of use it they can be classified into two then user interface user interface is also uh, one kind of web scrapers where they use user interface for scrapping then cloud versus local i think it is self explanatory in cloud you use this cloud for a uh, web scrapping and uh, for a local you use a local desktop or a local environment for scrapping the website so what are the web scrapers used for scrapping these are the certain you know applications where the scrapping can be used scrapping stock prices into an api app api scrapping data from yellow pages to generate leads scrapping data from store locator to create a list of business locations and scrapping product data from the sites like amazon ebay for competitor analysis scrapping sports stats for betting or fantasy leagues scrapping sites data before a website migration scrapping product details for comparison shopping scrapping financial data for market research and insights i i i now i understand uh, with this slides you understand where the web scrapers are used for and it is a you know kind of skill that if you don't have i must request you to you have a knowledge of this thing how the web scrapers are use this information so, uh, to tap you, you for their sales and everything so hope you like this now we are going to do some practicals on this web scrapping without practical i think there is no meaning for uh, giving you a lecture like this so let us start uh, doing some practicals hands on i already did certain practice on this you know for web scrapping i created one file you know on a google colab you i request you to just go on a google colab and uh, create some new python file then first library you have to underst uh, understand is beautiful soap this is a beautiful soap library where which is very useful for web scrapping i write it from bs4 import beautiful soap so once i clicked it you you check you check that this library get imported now i am importing the request this is the request basically those who worked on json they they understand this how you can you know request you get an request from the browser now this is the url basically which we want to discuss in detail this this is a url where whatsoever website you want to scrap you have to put the url of that here i am putting my brother's website that is uh, uh, here that, that is our own website basically and uh, once i run this you you see it is it got uh, taken in the, now it get contained in url if you want to see the data of the url you just type url and just run it you will find the url itself printed here now the source uh, what, what i am doing i am putting this url request into the source so now the source uh, contains the url now beautiful soap is used for getting html structure for request responses so beautiful soap means uh, the meaning of the beautiful soap is to used for getting html structure so once i click this since uh, the source Uh, my website is already contained in this source and i found i i am requesting the source html so once you you run this now this html code of the my whole website get stored in this soap if you want to see it just write soap and click it you will find the html code of the whole website here so after that if let us suppose you want the title so title you can find with the soap dot find title and uh, i would like to show you this is a title that's why i am writing i i, I put it into the parenthesis this is the with html tags the title so once i run this it is written first of all this is with html tags that i have written and this is a title which is under which is in this bracket that is about us vnc institute so this is the title page basically and this is the title which is mentioned on the website if you want to check on the website you can check it on uh, directly click on you know that link okay i'll show you i think it is better to sh show you also how that link is okay 
see all HTML, full HTML code of my website get you know downloaded. So since this is an about us page also, so if you want to know about the whole website, you just pasted it and put it here. Put it in, it in here. You can get it that. So uh, since there is a scarcity of time, so I'll move forward to show you how to you know move uh, how to run others commands. So here this is a title that I show you. After that, if you want to see the H1 tags, so H1 tags you just run this. Uh, so H1 tags is now it is stored in query. So now links. If you want to see the A tags, so just click this and A tags I put it into the links. So these are the A tags, A reference tag. So hope you understand. If you have a basic knowledge of HTML, you understand this. So if you want to print href, h reference. So this is h reference links. So now I, I would like to you know fetch all the links. How many links are present in my to, my website? This is very important. See, sometimes the if we design the website from somebody else, so we uh, sometimes it get very happy, uh, very heavy. This heavy website basically slow down your website. So this heaviness can be removed by checking how many links are there in your website. So this can be you know checked by this by many links. Soap dot find all. So this all links and uh, get you know will be available so there are total uh, links are 27 but out of this 27 i printed only five the first six links uh, I, I printed here one two three four five six these are the links which are available on my website so this can be this can be you know uh, increase or decrease by changing this variable there is six so it shows you seven uh, because it starts from zero so zero one two three four five six six because the six is not included but it is start from zero so if you change this index to 26 so it will show you all you know links available on your websites we'll see see these are the 26 all all 26 which are available on my websites so now the second link uh, if you want to you know uh, saw only second link you just write it one one stands for second link so it is the second link see this is the second link http uh, i'll show you here also this is the second link so hope you understand this this is easy now if uh, now I'll, I'll show you one more example this is this is something which i done it on my own website now let us suppose we want to you know there is a wikipedia page of world war second if you if i if i want and uh, to scrapping scrapping this so this is a title i just printed it and after that if i want to you know get the content the whole content it is very easy the content can be you know see the content is uh, available here now you can use it uh, for a uh, for structuring purpose you can you know you can store it on your excel sheets also but you can take this and uh, create your own text if you want similarly overview if you if i want to see the overview of all tables uh, and uh, so i just clicked it by doing so the whole data you know get shown here so till then i think it is enough for this video because the length of the video is already gone beyond 10 minutes i do not want to you know make it boring so i'll come back with some new videos in which i will show you how this web scrapping can can be done so that you can get an images you can get, get an data for your own references so hope you like this video if you like this video just uh, comment on uh, comment in the comment box i will come up with the new videos very soon till then stay tuned thank you bye bye